So after Ida's presentation, we're going to send you a link to a little interactive app, which uh, you have about a third of the time, about 10 minutes to, to try out yourself to see if you can answer some of the questions about what energy is available. And then we'll come back for questions um, at the end. So I'm going to hand over to, to Ida to uh, share your screen, Ida, and maybe um, okay. take it from there. And my name is Aida. And uh, first of all, thank you all for joining us in this final event and also in this session. And now I'm going to try to summarize the work that we have developed for the work package for of Dredown uh, for the energy uh, resource assessment in the European Atlantic region. Uh, this session, uh, as Angus said, is organized in three parts. So after my short presentation, we will have time to discover the results of this work. And then we will have time for uh, some questions. So feel free to write uh, your questions in the chat during the presentation and during the time for the interactive activities. Uh, the work package for of Redown has a focus on the assessment of the microhydropower energy recovery potential in the European Atlantic region uh, in the uh, water industry, including the drinking water, wastewater process industry and irrigation sectors. The methodology for this uh, work package has, uh, was organized in four main steps starting with the data collection, then uh, the estimation of the microhydropower potential at the identified sites. Then based on these results, we make uh, extrapolation to a country scale. And finally, we try to uh, estimate uh, the future research uh, projections. Starting with the data collection, uh, information about flow and pressure uh, was uh, gathered by the partners in the different countries for the four sectors um, with a total number of initial identified sites of around 8,900 uh, uh, sites from which uh, most of them um, came from the drinking water sector which represented about an 87% of the total, <laughs> sorry. The, the micro power potential was uh, then estimated for all these um, initial identified sites based on information about uh, the average uh, flow and pressure in, in these uh, sites. And we use this annual average uh, due to the differences in the uh, frequency of the records uh, of the data. And then uh, only do sites with uh, um, power potential, microhydro power potential equal or higher than two kilowatts were selected as uh, in most cases, a smaller installations are considered not to be economically uh, viable. And well, uh, once we had this uh, power, uh, we try to estimate the energy recovery potential considering as a, a pattern of operation time of about 24 hours and 365 days a year for all the sectors, uh, excluding the irrigation sector. Uh, once we have the estimation of the micro power potential in all of those uh, initially identified sites, um, the, we develop a methodology for the extrapolation of these results to the different sectors and uh, in a country scale. In the case of the drinking water sector, uh, this extrapolation was based on the ratio between the micro hydro power potential and the uh, population serve found in the different installation that we analyzed. And then we made the extrapolation to the total population of the different countries. In this case, for the drinking water sector, uh, due to the differences between the individual ratios uh, for the different uh, countries. We made this extrapolation under four possible assumptions using the individual ratios um, 
average ratios and also the medium. Then in the case of the waste water sector, uh, we made this extrapolation based on the linear correlation found between the microhydro power potential uh, estimated in the identified sites, in this case in Ireland and Spain, and the population covered by the corresponding installations. And then we apply this equation to the total population of the different countries. And in the case of the process industry sector, the initial database uh, included several uh, points in four private industries and also uh, nation, the national industry wastewater discharge uh, volumes for uh, most of the area in Spain, around 80% 80, 80 of, the, of the country area. So based on this information in the database from Spain, we made the extrapolation with uh, the total population of the rest of the countries. And also we apply, um, we consider the importance of the industry in each country uh, in the gross domestic uh, product. Finally, uh, in the case of the irrigation sector, the initial database uh, was composed of 18 irrigation networks in Spain and Portugal. So the analysis of these irrigation networks uh, give us the, um, the information about the microhydro power potential and also the cover surface for uh, those uh, irrigation networks. And with this information, we made the extrapolation to uh, the south of Portugal and all Spain. In this case, we have the regional information about the irrigated surface for, for Portugal. And in the case of Spain, we based the extrapolation of the uh, on information about the localized irrigation surface for the country, and also the ratio between the surface and the total water irrigation uh, volumes. After uh, the extrapolation process, uh, the future research projections uh, were made considering the future scenario for 2030 and 2050. In that way, all the extrapolation process was repeated for the different countries and sectors, um, considering the expected population growth uh, provided by Eurostat statistics. So for the methodology, this is our summary. So now uh, we invite you to join uh, the, the web and the app with the interactive activities to find out the main results of all this uh, work. So now I'm going to copy this link in the chat. Please don't leave the session because you can go to the interactive activities in parallel. And well, uh, very fast, I would like to, to say that here, uh, you can find uh, the options for uh, Spanish and English for the interactive activities. Here also a button to mute the sound if you want, because um, there are some uh, audio records. And well, first uh, you are going to see an explanation, very brief, and then you can go through the activities. Um, this is the activity selector. You, you are going to find four activities. And then here, some key points. Uh, yes, we have about 10 minutes. Uh, so please, after these 10 minutes, come back to, the, to this um, room, to the conference room, uh, to have the, the session of uh, questions. So, yeah. Thank you very much, Ida. Um, so when anyone has any questions, if they can just pop them into the chat after having gone through the, mm -hmm. the, uh, the app, and Ida is in the process of putting that link into the chat now. Yes, but I have to, okay, now. Okay. Can you see the link? Yep. So, okay. so we haven't given you the results of the work in the presentation. You're going to have to discover them yourself in the interactive app. So uh, enjoy for a few minutes.
I've managed to go through the interactive thing myself, so I presume that that amount of time was about the same for everyone else. We, we've got about five minutes left for uh, questions. So if anyone has got any questions after having tried that out, um, please stick them in the chat. Um, while we're waiting for that, I, it's, uh, I wanted to um, just to mention or, or to thank everyone who, who had worked hard in, in work package four on, on bringing this to, uh, to fruition. We had a, a nice team. So Ida, who we can see on the screen, uh, worked hard on work package four at, as did Georgia and, and Miguel, as well as uh, Juan Antonio and Jorge in, in Spain. Um, gathering all of these uh, 8,000 sites or so was a lot of work. And so I'm very grateful to everybody who worked hard on it. So um, anyway, we, we, we have one. Yeah. So we have a question from Jorge. Um, so what was the operation time considered to estimate the energy production in the irrigation sector? OK. So you can I answer Ida as I've read it. Okay. Okay. I did the hard part. <laughs> well, uh, as you see in the in the presentation for the rest of the uh, sectors, we use the 24 hours and 365 days a year. But of course, in the irrigation sector, the operation time is not all the day and not all the year. So in this case, um, we analyze the actual uh, installation these uh, 18 installations in Spain and Portugal, and we consider the um, operation time based on the irrigation requirements and also the irrigation season. So with uh, based on this data, then we made the extrapolation. So based on, on the, the operation time of, of these uh, installations. Very good. Uh, we also have another question on um... What efficiency was considered for the estimation of energy production in the efficiency of the turbine or pilot power plant, I guess? Yeah. So here we have considered for uh, this uh, assessment an average efficiency of 50% uh, based on previous works and also to try to be conservative. So yes, in this case, we use uh, this uh, value, 50% for the installation efficiency. Okay, great. So um, I think we have two minutes remaining before our breakout session is going to end. So I was wondering, I'll, I'll throw some question out. I wonder if, um, it's, what's interesting is, is the, the difference between the, the southern European countries and the northern European countries in terms of the, the amount of energy available in irrigation versus drinking water. I wonder how it would, if, if we weren't looking at the Atlantic area, how do, you, how, would it, how do you think it would look if we considered all of Europe or other parts of the world? There was a large difference between the amount of energy uh, that this initiative would save in Ireland, which was about, I think, was a 2% of, of the water needs versus parts of the south, which are much higher. Yes. Uh, do you mean uh, about the importance of the different sector in each country, each country depending? Yeah. Yes. Of course, uh, these results show that uh, in the case of, for example, Portugal and Spain, uh, irrigation was one of the most important uh, sectors, of course. So yes, it depends uh, on the main activities of, of the country. Mm, based on all the information that we uh, have for this uh, work, we can see that uh, the drinking water sector is also a very important um, sector. So yes, of course, I think that it will depend on each country and the main activities. And also, for example, in the industry, Mm, the the results show that if we can get more information about the internal uh, networks, water distribution networks on, of the industry, we can also get uh, higher 
uh, energy recovery results. So yes, of course, I think that mm. it depends on, on the country and the activities. Yeah, yeah. And so while we're talking about it, one of the things that comes to my mind is when we looked at the amount of energy that could be saved in, let's say, in mostly drinking water networks in Ireland of 2%. So that that that's that looks just at immediacy of what that means to the water sector. It doesn't mean what it means then to the to the customer or the taxpayer that's paying for. It. And similarly, then if you think about the irrigation sector and the drinking water sector in Spain, so if you could save that much energy, immediately it means something to those sectors. But it has a knock-on effect to the cost of food and to the to the um, to the larger economy. So I think that the uh, in a way, we can be underestimating the impact of micro hydropower on in this part of Europe by just considering its effect on the sector that it belongs to, as opposed to what do those cost savings mean to the mm -hmm. to the spill out of that saving? You know, yeah, yeah. If you're spending less money on electricity. Well, then I guess the price of everything can go down. Mm -hmm. So I think, um, according to the schedule, we're at the at the end of this. Uh, breakout session so I think we need to go back to the oh I no know. back to the main room or where there's an optional networking and chat otherwise you could, might have a, an optional cup of tea or coffee in your house <laughs> or an optional walk and come back at 11 o'clock I won't be going for an optional walk because it's freezing cold in Ireland and snowing so thanks everyone and thank you Ida there were a lot of very complimentary comments there on the app and while Ida didn't produce it entirely on her own, but she did the vast, vast majority of it. So thanks, Ida, for, for, for your uh, work there. Thank you. All, all right. So uh, we'll leave this. If you go to your breakout button and um, you, can, you can go back to the main room.